Hello everyone. In this uh, presentation, we're going to start with basics of Angular JS, and uh, we will start looking at how to create Angular JS projects. So I'm going to start with some of the uh, prerequisites, and if you have not uh, done these before or looked at these before, uh, it's okay. Don't worry much about it. Uh, there are a number of other tutorials available on YouTube or elsewhere talking about each of these things. So before we get into AngularJS, you know, we want to learn some of the basics of doing web development, right? And these are the pretty much one-on-ones of doing any web development these days. So you should familiarize with these uh, other things uh, regardless of which framework you're using in the JavaScript world. So the first thing that you should familiarize yourself with is Node.js slash npm. Uh, so if you want to go learn what it is, you know, it's, it's available at Node.js.org. Uh, it basically speaks about how to install uh, Node.js. If you've not installed it, uh, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to do another tutorial where I will, I'm going to show you how to install Node.js onto your machine. And then the other thing that you should familiarize yourself with is something called Gulp uh, or Grunt. So you can actually use Gulp to uh, create a build system for your projects. So to install Gulp, you know, you go to gulpjs.com um, and then it's going to tell you how to install uh, uh, the Gulp uh, functionality on your machine. And finally, one, one other very important uh, module that you would want to install is called Browser Sync. Uh, it basically lets you make changes in your project and it's going to instantly refresh your page to show the changes that you have done. Uh, in this particular demo, you're going to see how Browser Sync actually works. Uh, in Google for Browser Sync and then you'll get to the Browser Sync page and you'll be able to install it. So with that said, let's actually get started. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start creating a new project. So let's call this uh, the traditional Hello World project. So let's do Angular Hello World. I'll, I'll do a CD to Hello World here. So as, as you see, there is really nothing that's available in this particular project right now. So I'm going to do a, a, a create an index.html file. And I'm going to create a gulp file.js i'm going to walk you through what what that contains in a, in, in a second and now that we have created these uh, because we would want to be able to go and then make modifications to it we need to open them in an editor so i'm going to use atom editor uh, if you are not familiar with it it's a it's a pretty awesome editor so you would just go to uh, atom google for atom editor in uh, in web and atom.io actually. So you, you should just go and then install that if you have not really looked at it previously. So so that basically brings up the project in you know, in, 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 the, in the Atom editor. So we want to go and then add some functionality here. So let's just go and then create a very simple page here first. So HTML and then you can see, you know, um, it basically is asking for a title, Angular JS Hello World. Now we want to be able to uh, go and then put the script tags for importing the AngularJS uh, files in into this particular project. So let's actually go see how we can do that. So in a typical world, what you would see is you would actually see somebody going and then just uh, Googling around for uh, AngularJS CDN and then including that script in here. So if you go on and see, you know, Google for AngularJS CDN, so you, you would go and then get it from here and then you would just pick up the you know, typical latest stable version, which is 149, and then you would just get a link to one of the AngularJS min files. So you would typically, uh, you would see people typically do this mm -hmm. thing, right? So let me just go and then copy it over and I'm going to paste it in here. So script src equals blah, and that's your project, right? So, but I'm not going to do it, do it this way. Uh, this is going to make a request call, request out to the internet to be able to download this. So what we'll do is we'll actually, you know, reference to the JavaScript, this particular AngularJS file from our local repository. So let's actually go and then now set up the local repository uh, or module repository for this particular project. So I'm going to use Node.js here. So to be able to create uh, or rather use Node.js for your project, you would, the very first thing that you would do is you would use 
np init so i'm going to do np init and what this does is it asks me for a bunch of uh, options so i'm going to just choose the basic ones um, i'm good so now you can see there is a new file called package.json which is added to this particular project so you can see you know some basic information here if you don't understand what this thing is don't worry you know it's really not a lot of information uh, you don't need to worry about it while you're learning AngularJS but I thought I'll show you the best way to kind of get started with the project so now that we have done that what we want to do is we want to install a dependency on AngularJS for your particular project if you are coming from Java background this is almost like pr providing a Maven dependency so I'm going to do npm install minus minus save dev and going to do angular so now what this does is is actually creates a node mod node modules folder in here and then it puts angular um, available in, in your particular folder so now what you can do is your computer can be hooked off the internet and then you probably you know can you should you will still be able to develop using angular js so i'm going to go and then actually reference the angular js from the node modules folder node modules slash angular slash angular dot js i mean you can use min.js but since we are doing development we're going to use angular.js file so with that we got angular.js in place now i want to do do a couple of more things you know just to do it the, the right way you know the best way to learn these things right so let's go back in here and now let's actually install gulp so npm install minus minus save the gulp so that's going to go and then install gulp into my into my project so it's actually going and downloading so it actually now installed gulp and then finally as i said i'm going to show you how to use browser sync here so i'm going to do browser sync as well so while browser sync is actually getting downloaded let's actually go and then now start using our gulp file to be able to serve this index.html file over uh, a static server um, so I'm going to do where gulp is equal to require gulp and var browser sync is equal to require browser sync and then I'm going to create an object of browser sync and then my gulp task to actually serve this particular project uh, for so I'm going to create a serve task which and which takes in this function and in the function I'm going to do browser sync dot uh, init so I'm going to initialize it and then I'm going to provide the base directory for this particular server so I'm going to do go with the basics base dir so that's my uh, so I, I just initialize browser sync to you know to the basic base dir as the you know base directory and now I'm going to do a, a watch so I'm going to do a watch saying please watch my index.html file and on change now please do a browser sync reload so if you don't understand this that's okay don't worry about it I'm going to show you real quick in, in one second so now that we actually have created a, a, a page let's actually put very basic information here hello world h1 tag so i'm going to switch back to the console and what i'll do now is i'm going to do gulp serve and now you can see actually you can see that it opened up a new tab and it's actually showing me whatever i've typed in in my index.html file so now onwards i can start making changes here and save the file and it will actually start auto rendering it on the other window so let's actually to do that hello world in angular.js so i'm going to go on and save and i didn't really do any refresh it actually automatically shows me how the um how the file is going to be run how the html file is going to be rendered in the browser so now actually let's get back to the basics of angular.js i have included angular.js um, um, javascript file here so in angular.js you have multiple uh, specific tags that you use to do various things so the very basic thing or a very first thing that you would want to do is you would want to tell angular.js that your html file is an angular app and then the way you would do it is you would specify something called ng-app 
and ng dash app is called as a directive in the angular uh, parlance so ng stands for angular and app stands for a specific meaning um, so in this case it's a it's a directive uh, which which kind of says ng app so what we are saying here is this body is nothing but an angular app and just to um, give you a very basic example of you know how do you uh, use um, angular here i'm going to write some code in here so so what i'll do is i'll initialize the angular app with a variable called name and i'll give it a value called word so i'm given that value but it you know it doesn't really make any sense as of now uh, but what we'll go and then do now is we'll actually create a paragraph and then we'll say um, this is a hello and we'll use angular's expressions uh, to be able to resolve values um, this is a hello name program and now you can see what you see here is as i saved the file it basically shows me hello world because i actually put a name in here so essentially what's happening here is the name is you know is getting initialized with the value called world and as angular renders this particular page it actually sees you know that there is some variable that's actually declared between these uh, braces uh, this is essentially an expression and it resolves the expression in this case it resolves the name value to world and it's actually going to replace that in the dom with uh, the value world so that's what it actually did so let's actually make one more change and then let's see you know, how this actually is going to look like so hello world uh, how are you I'm going to save that and you will see you know automatically getting refreshed here so this is this is interesting actually so it what what we have seen here is a variable is bound to a specific value and then that particular value is available in this particular application anywhere this particular variable is actually being used so just to see it you know more in action we'll do a one one slight thing one slight change so we're going to get rid of this ng in it and then what we'll do is we'll actually create a simple uh, input field enter something input type text and we will use another directive in angular.js which is called ng model and then we will call this as name so what this actually means is you're saying that create uh, in basic html we are saying that create a text field and then associate the value in the text field to a variable called name so this is really what this ng model uh, directive is doing it's basically acting as a model for this particular input so now what's going to happen is anything that's actually typed into the input field is actually bound to the uh, name uh, attribute so let's see this in action so i'm going to save that now you can see it actually comes up with something in here um okay did i do something wrong here so i think i seem to have done something wrong here so so what is what's wrong so somehow this name is actually not getting us all properly ng input type text ng model name and Thing. So I figured the issue that uh, this particular project had previously. So I was actually having uh, a, what you call a double quote here. So I just remove the double quote and then it actually works fine now. So now you can see that there is a text field, you know, which is asking for entering something. And then because the value is empty, you won't really see anything here. But I'm going to say world and as a type you can see that the value for this particular text is actually changing so in the angular.js world this is called uh, binding of data so this is in fact called two-way data binding so essentially what's happening is you have a, a view element which is the input which is bound to a model and then you have another view element which is also bound to the part, you know, you know, model called name. So what AngularJS is actually doing here is any changes to the 
you know to the model why the view are actually being saved to the model and then instantly the model is actually you know going and then telling every other uh, view elements that it has changed and then it has changed and this is the new value so therefore that's the reason why when you type something into this particular input field you're actually seeing something getting reflected in this particular paragraph as well so this kind of explains very basics the utmost basics of angular js you you kind of declare a declarative um, here directive here called ng app uh, you, we have seen ng in it and we are we are also seeing ng model right now so so that's about it for now and then we'll talk in the next session thank you